Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. In this session, we will uh, talk about uh, whether the leadership is uh, really practically in the field is workable or not or there are certain myths and uh, what are the realities or facts uh, uh, related to the leadership is there. Because whenever we are learning the leadership, we are supposed to know about the what are the myths are there about the leadership and uh, because sometimes you see the people say that is the leadership does not work. A very normal criticism is about how these uh, non MBAs they are becoming leaders and when they are so much successful leaders uh, does MBA requires. So, that particular myth that is the uh, leadership uh, is uh, not does not require any input or whether the leadership uh, it requires the professional qualification uh, what is the fact. Right, that we will be discussing in this particular uh, session is there right. And we will also talk about the different myths which are very popular and common uh, into this particular topic of the leadership and we will also talk about that is what are the different facts are there. We will also relate it with the case study and uh, research papers and uh, also uh, we, this session will be having the certain uh, input from different books uh, uh, as a recommendation for you uh, and whatever these uh, as usual at the end we will be having the references are there. Now, the uh, there are the lot of uh, uh, the already says are there specially related to the rules that is what are the rules of leadership. And we have seen that is the uh, rules of leaderships are written on the basis of uh, so many dimensions there are the uh, uh, the uh, team building is related, the personality is uh, related, the perception is related, learning is related and therefore, in that case uh, uh, the, the researchers, the authors they have given the rules on the basis of the, their research. On that, that particular research based studies they, they, are, uh, they are making the rules are there. Then there are the pointers also those who are showing the directions direction that is about the leaderships are there that how you can become the successful leader. Then there are different leadership styles number of theories are there which talk about the, that uh, whether it is autocratic style is there, democratic style is there, participative style is there and whether that it is less is fair style is there and therefore, in that case you will find that is the, the there are, are the uh, different uh, uh, inputs are there theoretically uh, by the different authors. It also talks about the biographies of the impressive leaders. The biographies uh, are related uh, about that how these leaders uh, they have uh, 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 changed the uncomfortable uh, situation to the comfortable situations, how they have made uh, uh, that organization so much successful, how the cultures have been built in the organization, what are the different practices are there um, with these practices uh, uh, they have made the organizations uh, as a global level A class organization or the best employers uh, uh, in the world. This all through this, this the world history is there. Now, here I will also like to mention that is the especially the culture. Whenever we are talking about the uh, leadership, so leadership is very much uh, dependent on the individual that is true, but if unless and until that individual is having the best combination with the organizational culture and environment. And in a given environment and uh, situation, if the uh, leader is able to coordinate and compose, then definitely the leadership will be the effective leadership will be there. For this purpose, we will talk about that is the there are the particular facts because you will say that is the if leadership depends on the personality, then how we can generalize it? 
if the leadership depends on the environment, how we can generalize? And if the leadership depends on a particular situation, then how it we can generalize? So, there are the particular leadership facts that we all ourselves fail to identify. Because in a given situation, I always uh, 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 advise my students that is in the classroom you learn to get the ideas and creativity of the ideas. But what ideas exactly will work that you have to see in a given situation at your workplace. At your workplace if you know that is if this, this, this is a situation for example, the role of technology, for example, role of raw materials, for example, role of finance. So, leadership within context to these particular dimensions that will require that is the what is to be done and how to be make the effective leadership. Uh, another very common example is of the change management that is how to implement the change in a given organization, in a given situation, in a given culture by the given change agent. So, these parameters are very very important if you are making these parameters uh, uh, in, in a single direction that is why it is no, uh, uh, like you will see in the about written the pointers and styles. If the pointers are accurate and styles are directive then definitely in that case that leadership will be working as an effective leadership is there. Now, here we will talk about the different uh, myth about the leadership is there. So, the leaders are only of only one type. But as I mentioned earlier in the previous slide that is the leaders are having the different personalities. Leadership depends on the personality of a leader and every leader is having his own personality. And we know that is the personality depends on the heredity, environment and situation. So, whenever we are talking about the heredity, environment situation, now how heredity is related? Now, some leaders you will find that they are very happy and it is because of their secretion of dopamine. And in that case when the environment is concerned that is a 40 percent that plays a role in, 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 into a, a style of the leader. So, leader cannot be of one type and therefore, whether that, that is the uh, official positions many times it has been uh, mentioned it is the uh, if the person is on the uh, uh, as a head position. Uh, a, a, as a, uh, the designation is general manager, designation is vice president, then uh, then that person is a leader. It is as um, no, this is just a myth. That is by being at a position, it does not mean that person becomes the leader. If you remember and recall my the previous uh, session under definition of leadership, that is the it is the influence of the behavior. Right. So, the, a leader who influences the behavior of others and not it is just because of the position then definitely in that case you will find that is the it, it, it is becoming that is the official uh, or the elected for position or officers they becoming their leaders it is not true. The informal leaders by virtue of their wisdom and expertise right that is that is fact right. So, on one side the official the position gives an opportunity to express the leadership, the manager. You may get the position of manager, but are you a leader? The position will give an opportunity. Similarly, the virtue of your wisdom that will give you an opportunity to be leader. Virtue of your expertise in a given technical skills, human skills, conceptual skills, analytical skills, designing skills, that, that expertise that will give you the leadership style and exercise a mix of the leadership variations are there. So, whenever we are talking about that the what is the myth leaders are only of one type no leaders are whether they are official on the based of the position or on the based on their wisdom on the based of their expertise and maybe the person at the manager position with the mix of their wisdom and expertise that can be the leadership variation is there. So, Levin's three basic management styles are there authoritative right and therefore, in that case the authoritative style of the leaders they say to do right and therefore, they have become the authoritative. Now, authoritative can be on the basis of their wisdom and expertise also. So, therefore, we have to understand that is the authoritative persons 
the way they exercise the, their uh, uh, the leadership that will decide that is what type of the authoritative leaderships they are having. Similarly, the participative style is there and in the participative style they will be asking that is the what are the different style of the leadership which will be to be performed in a given situation and they ask to their participants other team members that is the this is the situation and what can be the solution and therefore, that will be the participative style will be there. Then there is a delegative style. In the case of the delegative style where the leader he gives the task to the others and the others performs their particular task, but we should not misunderstand that is the how this uh, delegative um, where is making the person uh, uh, non perform it is not lazy sphere style. Right. So, in the laissez faire style you will find it is a person is not performing. In delegative style the person is given the task to the others, but he is monitoring that particular task. So, with the delegation authority is given, but responsibility is not given while in the laissez faire style of the leadership uh, it, it is the person is not concerned with the authority not concerned with the responsibility. Then Goldman 6 emotional leadership styles are there. First and foremost, uh, foremost is that is a visionary style is there. So, whenever we are talking about the leader, no. So, leader is who is a leader? Who is visionary? Who creates the vision, vision for the organization? Now, what will be the vision of the organization? Here I would also like to support that a visionary aspect with the help of the research. Articulation of vision is not that easy. The, uh, the vision can be only framed by the experts, those who are able to understand yesterday, today and tomorrow. If the person understand what were the problems, so whenever we are making the organization tech savvy organization or a more technological based organization, then what is our vision? Vision is after 20 years, where will be the technology? what will be the resources and that will be the visionary is there. Then there is a affiliative style is there. An affiliative style is there where the persons are more concerned with the people or the team members those who are working with them. Then the pace setting is there. So, slowly and slowly uh, they make uh, the develop the whole organization systems. Then the coaching style is there where they are having the direct uh, 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 the, uh, the instructions and advises and develop the people is there. Democratic style is there where the, the, the leader asks to the team members that is to express and that is the participative or the team uh, democratic style is there. And commanding style is there that is the autocratic style or authoritative style is there. Whenever there is a this type of the situations then definitely in that case uh, the, the leadership styles they, they, they are becoming the different positions are there right. Now, Likert's four leadership styles are there exploitative authoritative. Now, exploitative authoritative there the leader is not giving any benefits to the team members. While the good hearted authoritative are there those who are having the authoritative positions, but their intentions are very fair. Consultative is there and in the case of the consultative it, it is the uh, participative style is there where the people are getting the uh, uh, involved their team members and participative style is there where the decision making is done with the help of the people. The difference between the consultative and the participative is there that is you are having the consultation with the others, but you are not, fo not necessarily following in your decisions. In the participative style is there where you are joining with the your team members to take the decision and to implement it. Second myth is leaders are born and not made. Leadership is actually a procedure for becoming a leader as we have mentioned that is it is a full process right. So, earlier it was told uh, that is the king's son will become the king that is a trait theory was there and on basis of that it was told that is the yes the, the if uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the prince is born uh, in any royal family then definitely he will be the only leader or he will be the king right and but later on it has been seen they have not been become successful leaders 
because by just taking birth into a particular king's family does not make a person a king. So, then what makes a king? It is uh, that is the that particular training which is to be provided to that uh, uh, the prince. So, that he, he proves in the true sense that prince is not only because of the birth, but it is by the act also. Although specific men and women are born with the innate leadership characteristics. So, oh, you see uh, if you watch uh, the, uh, the children's are playing and then you find suddenly that one child he becomes the leader and rest of the his uh, team members they follow him. So, but if they are playing themselves and following the one person, but there is a threat because without proper environment and the exposure then they will often fail to acquire their full potential and that is why that direction is very much important that coaching is very much important because the person may have that personality traits to become a leader uh, uh, especially taking initiatives uh, extrovert is there directive is there it, it might be there but then what is required there is required an environment. If there is an environment and exposure then definitely that person uh, who has uh, uh, born in a royal family or not born in a royal family, but because of that initiative of his uh, traits which are making him the leader with the proper exposure and, and by providing the proper exposure and environment. So, like learning the way to ride a bicycle it is also possible to learn how to become a leader. So, like we learn the swimming, bicycling and uh, uh, then uh, driving right. So, is like this way we can also learn that how to become a leader and sharpen our leadership expertise. So, let them be the leader, leadership begins with you. So, it is not like this, there is there are some people those who can become the leader. They can be the leaders, we, I cannot be the leader. No, 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 that is a myth. Knowledge on leadership theories and abilities may be formally gained by the finding leadership seminar, training, courses, and conventions. If you get the training for that, that is how to become the leader, then definitely in that case, you will become the leader for that particular uh, task or the situation. So, leadership starts with you, with ourselves. We cannot become a leader in a single day. Lifelong learning is essential in learning to be a good leader for every day, which provides a fresh experience. Now, you see the situation keep on changing. Earlier situation may be different. Now, situation is different. Yesterday situation was different, today's uh, situation is different. And then in that case, every day what we provide the experiences that put our knowledge, skills and frame of mind to a test. So, whatever the knowledge we are having, whatever the skills we are having, so every day they are challenge. Our knowledge is challenge, skills is there, attitude is challenge, habits are challenge, challenge and therefore, there will be by, by this facing these challenges, we make up our mindset and that mindset to win the situation that is becoming the important. Leadership is the sole act. So, leadership is uh, it is not that is the it is only by the one person, no, no it is shared by the others those who are your team members. So, it is not the responsibility of one person, but instead a shared accountability among people. Now, here you see this pretty beautiful uh, diagram and in, in this particular picture uh, you will find that is the rise of the shared leadership is there, but so it is a team building right by supporting to each other the person can reach to the goal. So, accountability among people of an emerging team is there. The leader belongs to a group, every single member has a task to meet. So, here it is a you find that is a chain is there and this chain will be connected by the each and every member and that is becoming the, uh, the team building and not by the single person. So far, we have discussed uh, about the some of the myths uh, related to this uh, particular uh, leadership uh, in soul acts uh, and the uh, rest of these uh, myths that we and uh, whether the facts are there or I have talked about the research papers and books that we will discuss into the uh, next part right in the next session. So, thank you, thank you all of you.